welcome to our introduction to peripheral common and interconnect commonly known as pci in today's digital world the efficient communication between hardware components is crucial for system performance and pci plays a vital role in this process pci utilizes a point to point architecture meaning each device has a dedicated connection to the cpu this setup not only increases the bandwidth but also reduces latency make it ideal for high performance applications bci bus is a good example of a system bus and supports the functions found on the processor bus devices connected to the pci bus appear to the processor as if they were connected directly to the processor bus pci follows a sequence of bus standards that were primarily used in ipm bci bci bus was developed as a low cost bus that is truly processor independent an important feature of pci bus is having plug and play capability for connecting input output devices to connect a new device the user simply connects the device interface board to the bus then the software take care of the rest there are several types of peripheral common and interconnect standards that have evolved over time to accommodate different performance requirements and technologies here is an overview of the main types of pci standard pci the original pci standard for connecting devices to the motherboard data rate up to 133 mb per second for 32 bit up to 266 mb per second for 64 bit address space is 32 bit or 64 bit pci ax an improved version of pci designed for high performance in servers data rate up to 1 gp per second and beyond it works with standard pci devices and the third category pci express a newer standard using a point to point connection for faster speeds data rate ranges from 2.5 gt per second to 32 gt per second depending on the version comes in different lan sizes for various bandwidth needs mini pci a small lab pci designed for laptops and compact devices commonly used for network and wifi cards pci express mini card a smaller pci version for laptops and embedded systems used for wireless cards like wifi and bluetooth PCI Express M.2 a compact interface that supports PCI Express and SATA connections commonly used for SSDs and high speed peripherals PCI Express NVMe a protocol for SSDs that uses PCI for fast data transfer it provides faster speeds than traditional SATA ssds when the processor specify the address and the request read operation from the main memory responds by sending a sequence of data words starting at that address similarly during write operation the processor sent a memory address followed by a sequence of data words to be written in successive man memory location starting at that address pci is designed to support this mode of operation also pci bus supports three independent address space memory input output and configuration here is a simplified list of the advantages and disadvantages of pci advantages of pci it support multiple devices you can connect up to five components to the pci bus with the option to replace them with fixed devices on the motherboard multiple buses 
a computer can have multiple PCI buses. The PCI bus increases transaction speeds from 33 MHz to 133 MHz, achieving transfer rates of up to 1 GB per second. PCI can support devices using a maximum of 5 volts, allowing multiple signal to be transferred to a single pin. Disadvantages of PCI Limited memory access PCI graphics card cannot access system memory. PCI does not support pipeline architecture limiting performance in certain applications. Thank you for watching.